Hello everybody. Let me teach you how to mail merge a document. This is the easiest way that I have found to do progress reports and get it done quickly and in a timely manner. So first, let's get started. Here is my document and it's an old progress report. Here's the comment already pre-filled in and then I'm going to add in the grades already so that I don't miss a grade and so that I can modify them and change them if I need to. So it just makes it a whole lot easier when the grades are pre-filled in and then I can just change them however I need to. So I've got that done. Now you're going to go to Tools and you're going to go to Mail Merge Manager. Yours may not open like that. It may look like this. That's fine. Go to Create New. Form Letters is what you want to click on. Then you are going to click on Get List. Here is my Excel document. You need to have your names in an Excel document. Maybe you can have them in a Word document, but I haven't figured that out yet. So I know here are my names and everything that I have, and I have them in this wonderful Excel document, and I have it saved to my desktop. You can access you can access the Excel document from anywhere. It doesn't have to be saved onto your desktop. So I'm going to go to Get List. And I'm going to go to Open Data Source. And right here, hey now, there's my checklist. I could find it on my flash drive or wherever else it may be, but I saved it there for the purposes of this video. So I double clicked to open it. It says this file needs to be opened by the Excel blah 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 workbook text converter blah blah blah. Just click OK. Then, yes, I want the entire worksheet, sheet one, great. Click OK. Now, I know that on that document, it is auto merge field one. So I'm going to drop field one in here. I'm going to make sure that it ends up underlined because I want it to look nice and pretty. And then I'm going to modify the line because I don't want, I know that some names are longer and mine will have first name, last name, but I did not do that for the purposes of this video. So I know that some names are longer than others. So I want to make sure that I shorten this line because when it dumps the name in there, it's going to spread it out for however long the name is. In the comment, I'm going to take this away and I'm going to add auto merge field one right here. You can leave the lines and delete them later. That's fine. And then I'm going to do auto merge field one right here. That way, every time I want the same thing in all three places. If I had something different, then I would maybe add a different field. But I want the same field in all three places because I know that that field is my student's name. I'm going to underline that one because I want it to be underlined and look nice and neat. I'm adjusting the length of the line for when the nail names get put in there. Now, I don't need to mess with anything else. I just need to go right here. Merge to new document. I'm going to click that button and voila. Now I have all of the documents that I need. I now have every name that was in that document here in this beautiful merge document with the name on this line with the name in here and with the name here. So I hope this helps shorten your time for creating your progress reports.